cheating wife is mad I'm divorcing her and making her lose all our assets as per the prenup. I 34M found text that shows my wife 33F cheated on me. Me and my wife Melissa have been married for eight years. We have a house, two cars, and a dog together. No kids. Everything seemed great. That was until two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, as I'm sitting down ready to go to bed, my wife receives a text. She went to the neighbor's house to get something, so I look over to see what it says. It's from some dude named Andrew, and he texted her, when are you coming over? I become suspicious, because my wife never said anything about going out tonight. So I ask her, and she says she's going out for drinks with some friends. I don't say anything about the texts. I eventually forget about it, until last night. She gets another text from Andrew, and this time I begin to read through their conversation. That night he asked her when she was coming over. Yeah, they ducked that night. And judging from the texts, they ducked more than once. I feel like right now. It seemed like our marriage was great, now this. Ironically, we have an infidelity clause she requested on our prenup because she was cheated on before. I'm beginning to look for a lawyer. I won't confront her with any of this until the lawyer sets out everything. H you, I might not even confront her about it. Just hit her with the papers then bounce. But this is eating away at me inside. I haven't told anybody about this. I want to, but people can't keep secrets. Any advice would be appreciated. Update. So I met with the lawyer and I really like him. He's expensive, but he has a ton of experience. I'm going to the meetings with the other two and just hire him. In terms of hiring a PI, he said he normally doesn't recommend it due to the cost, but considering I have a prenup in place, and she loses the house if proof of cheating is rock solid, and the fact I can afford one pretty easily, he says I should go for it. Heading home now and beginning a search for one. Update 2. Sorry Yil, forgot to update last night. Came home tired as duck. So yet nothing really happened last night. Came home, ate, then headed off to bed. She told me about her day at work, as I pretended to care. She didn't try to initiate Zex, so that was good. I'll be going on a fishing trip with one of my buddies this weekend. I need to get my mind off of things. Still looking for a good PI too. So this morning, as I was leaving to go fishing with my buddy, Melissa said she wanted to talk. She didn't beat around the bush. She got right to it. She said that she has been unhappy in our marriage for months and feels like it can only get worse from here. She then said that she felt like a divorce was on the for us, and that it would be best for both of us. At this point I lose it. I tell her, why didn't you ask me for a divorce before you started ducking Andrew? At this point she becomes a deer in the headlights. She stammers for a couple of seconds, then starts bawling her eyes out. She says she's sorry that she didn't want to break my heart. Well, sorry, you wanted a divorce, you're going to get one. Literally minutes after she said she wanted a divorce, she contradicts herself by saying we should try to work things out and that we should head to counseling. I tell her that she has to have all her out of the house by Sunday afternoon when I return, or else I throw your onto the street. I've already secured my valuables so she can't damage anything of mine. So yeah, that's about it. She thought she could just get away with cheating and request a divorce nope. Story 2. Can an ex who you never officially dated be a friend? Some backstory. Four years ago, I 22F moved to a new country and met this guy Ken 26M. I had just gotten out of a relationship and was happy to have my freedom. He was one of the first few people I met who was from my country and we became really good friends instantly. I got very comfortable around him, and we started spending a lot more time together. We randomly started having, but I was young and in didn't think about it too much as long as I felt safe. As time passed, we were practically together day and night. Our friend circles thought we were dating but we just considered ourselves very close friends who effin', an arrangement I was somewhat okay with. A few months after we started all this. I had developed an emotional attachment with him that I didn't know if he reciprocated or not. He did. One night, while we were talking about that he mentions that he has a girlfriend of six years who lives in another country. I was shocked and hurt to say the least that I also didn't know how to react. He told me that his life with his girlfriend didn't exist. 
not because it was a LDR, but she was more or less uninterested, and that he had cheated on her before because of that, but because he loved her, he could never break up with her. I was hurt, but also in love. As long as he gave me his time and attention, I didn't really care. He was the first guy I ever loved, and it should be his decision if he wants to cheat or not, was the justification I gave myself at that time, knowing that what I was doing was wrong. None of my friends liked him because of that but I really didn't care at that time. He understood me perfectly and we fit perfectly, so we did everything a couple does other than put a tag on it. Throughout the year that we were together, we lived in the same apartment, shared a bed for almost every night, and traveled to some other countries. He would only call his girlfriend for an hour every night and didn't really even text her much. We had had many conversations about her, and I even helped him see things from her perspective when they fought. So eventually, he moves back to our home country, and it broke my heart. It took almost six months for me to learn how to sleep alone again and be my own person. But we end up forming the new habit of F asterisk 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 king whenever I visit home, twice a year. Finally in 2019, the emotional strain of all this started getting too much for me, and I told him that we couldn't continue like this anymore, that the most I could give him anymore was my friendship. I was hurt but also in love. As long as he gave me his time and attention, I didn't really care. He was the first guy I ever loved, and it should be his decision if he wants to cheat or not, was the justification I gave myself at that time, knowing that what I was doing was wrong. None of my friends liked him because of that but I really didn't care at that time. He understood me perfectly and we fit perfectly, so we did everything a couple does other than put a tag on it. I stopped speaking to him for almost a year during which his girlfriend ended up breaking up with him due to suspicions of him cheating and because of many other unresolved issues. In 2020, we started talking again as friends, doing video call updates once every month or so, but by now I have fully gotten over him and don't really look at him the way I used to. We give each other advice since I'm one of the few people he can open up to. He has been struggling, is depressed, alone, and professionally in a rut. I keep trying to motivate and listen to him as a friend, and it had worked out fine until now. I have been in a serious relationship for almost nine months now and my boyfriend knows about Ken and has spoken to him but never really liked him. But since Ken is still such a good friend of mine, he hadn't said anything to me. Recently during a conversation with Ken, he tells me that he misses me and misses us. I shut that down immediately and tell him not to mention it since that chapter has been closed for a very long time. He said he understood and cuts the call. I was a little shaken because when we agreed to become friends, I made one thing very clear that nothing was going to ever happen again between us because I was hurt too deeply the first time. But now that he has shown romantic interest in me I don't know if I should even stay friends with him or not as that would be disrespectful to my relationship.